mountain. It is a lovely snowy day. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have come to the mountains to go skiing. <laughs> See you all at the top. Come, come on, car. car. You, you can, can make, make it. it. Oh. The car cannot drive up the mountain. The snow is too slippery. You have to take the ski lift. <laughs> the ski lift is carrying everyone to the top of Snowy Mountain. Uh, it looks a bit high. Whoa! Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> <laughs> this is really fun. Oh, yes, really fun. <laughs> in the air, in a chair, snow is falling everywhere. Flying high in a chair. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> the ski lift has reached the top of Snowy Mountain. <laughs> Daddy is a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> <laughs> skis, skis, get your skis here. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Skis for two grown-ups and two children, please. There you go. <laughs> Madam Gazelle is the ski teacher. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, will we ski all the way down the mountain? Oh, <laughs> not today, Danny. I think for now we will stick to the baby slope. The children are learning to ski on a little slope. To start, push off slowly with your sticks. Whee! To stop, point your skis together. <laughs> Skiing is fun. Let's go back up and do it again. Whoa! Whoa! Walking up slopes on skis is not easy. Uh -oh. To go up the slope, you have to walk sideways like a crab. <laughs> Everyone is walking sideways like a crab. Madam Gazelle, can we see you ski now? Oh, I don't know. Please. Very well. Hoopla. That was amazing. Yes, I was the world champion at skiing and won this cup. Ooh. Now, which mummy or daddy would like a go? Why not? Are you sure, Mummy Pig? You haven't skied for years. It's just like riding a bike, Daddy Pig. You never forget. Here is the baby slope, Mummy Pig. <coughs> I think I'm a bit grown up for the baby slope. Which way does this go? <coughs> All the way down the mountain. My mummy is skiing down the mountain. Ah, where are the brakes? Oh, she can't stop. We have to catch up with her. Ah, stand back. Mummy Pig is skiing along the road. Ah! Everyone is in the coach, chasing after Mummy Pig. Wow, my mummy is skiing super fast. Whoa! That was fantastic skiing. Mummy Pig is skiing past the shops. Ah! Ah! How am I going to stop? <laughs> My goodness, a walking, talking snowman. No, it's just my mummy. <laughs> I have never seen such amazing skiing. This cup belongs to you. Thank you. My mummy is the best at skiing down the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Sun, sea and snow. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. Tomorrow, we're going on a coach trip to the seaside. We can make sand castles. I fancy a swim. Me too. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Oh, it is starting to snow. 
It is morning. Yippee! It's sunny. <gasps> snow! A lot of snow has fallen in the night. Snow, Mummy! Snow, Daddy! Snow, snow, snow! Eh? <laughs> what? We are still going to the seaside, aren't we? Well, let's see how much snow there is. Oh, where's Daddy gone? <gasps> it's a walking snowman. I'm cold. <laughs> it's a walking, talking snowman. <laughs> oh, it's just Daddy. Poor Daddy. Let's warm you up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are warming Daddy Pig up by rubbing him with towels. That's better. Now we can go to the seaside. But what about the snow? I don't think the coach will be running today. Oh. Miss Rabbit's coach has arrived at Peppa's house. Goodness me! How did you get through all that snow? With my big snow plough. Snow ploughs push the snow out of the way. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All of Peppa's friends are going to the seaside, too. Next stop, the seaside. Hooray! Mr Bull and his friends are gritting the road. The grit melts the snow. Mr. Bull. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. It's taken us all night, but the road is clear all the way to the seaside. That's good. We're going to the seaside. Would you like to come along? No, thanks, Miss Rabbit. We've got more roads to grit. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Bye. Have a lovely day at the beach. We're The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> ice skating. Peppa and her family are going ice skating today. This will be fun. Peppa and George <laughs> have never been ice skating before. Now, George. You won't be very good at ice skating, so just do what I do. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all be very good. Yes, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> First, we need some skates. At the ice rink, everyone wears skates. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Squeak. Hello, Mummy Pig. We'd like to hire some skates, please. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy skating. <laughs> Here are Susie Sheep, Rebecca Rabbit, Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra, Candy Cat, Emily Elephant and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Peppa's friends can ice skate very well. 
Peppa wants to ice skate too. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. <laughs> Is this your first time skating? <laughs> yes. Shall I show you how to skate? No, thank you, Susie. I'm sure I can already do it. OK, come on, then. <laughs> this is impossible. I don't want to do ice skating anymore. Don't worry, Peppa. Everyone falls over when they ice skate. Even I fall over. Watch this. Oops-a-daisy. Ho, ho. Silly Daddy. <laughs> George, would you like to skate? No. George has never ice skated before, and he is a bit worried. I'll look after George while you teach Peppa how to skate. Skating is easy, Peppa. Just push with your feet and glide. Push, push, glide. See? Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. <laughs> this is easy. I can do it on my own now, Mummy. <laughs> Push, push, glide. Push, push, glide. Well done, Peppa. <laughs> Look at me. I'm skating. Peppa is doing really well. Yes, I'm a very good teacher. <laughs> Slow down, Peppa. You'll bump into someone. Don't worry, Mummy. I'm very good at skating. Oh, where are the brakes? Oh, dear. I forgot to teach Peppa how to stop. Oh. Ah! I can't stop! Look out! Woo! <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig taught you how to skate, but I taught you how to fall over. Yes. I'm very good at falling over. <laughs> George, do you want to skate too? No. Come on, George. It's fun. I'll teach you. Hit him. First, you need to... Whee! George, come back. I'm teaching you how to ice skate. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. George can skate beautifully. Wow! Look at George! <gasps> Well done, George. You're fantastic, George. Yes, you did very well, George, for your first lesson. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's skate. Yes! <laughs> Peppa and George love ice skating. Everyone loves ice skating. Mummy and Daddy taught me how to skate, but I taught George. <laughs> <laughs> cold winter day. It is very cold today. Peppa and George are wearing their hats, scarves, coats, mittens, and boots. <laughs> Look, George, the trees haven't got leaves. In the winter time, the trees lose their leaves. <laughs> Pepper and George have found a muddy puddle. Ooh! Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Me first. <laughs> it is so cold, the puddle has turned to ice. It is very slippery. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Here are Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Oh, good! A muddy puddle. Daddy Pig loves jumping in muddy puddles. Stop, Daddy! <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Lucky I've got such a good sense of balance. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, the puddles are icy today. We can't jump in them. <laughs> Never mind. Let's feed some bread to the ducks. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa and George love feeding the ducks. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We've got some bread for you. 
<laughs> the ducks like bread. <laughs> oh! It is so cold, the pond has frozen to ice. <laughs> the ice is very slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for laughing, Mrs Duck, but it did look quite funny. <laughs> It is starting to snow. Snow! <laughs> Pepper and George love snow. George, let's catch snowflakes. <laughs> Pepper and George are catching snowflakes. Ooh. George has caught a snowflake. <laughs> Pepper has caught a snowflake. Ooh. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep on her toboggan. Peppa. Wow! Susie, that looks fun. <laughs> We're all tobogganing on the big hill. There's lots of snow there. <laughs> Shall we climb up the big hill and watch the tobogganing? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa's friends are tobogganing on the big hill. Whee! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> What? Oh dear, George has slipped on the hill. You look funny, George. <laughs> George does not think it is funny. <laughs> it's quite easy to slip on the hill. Maybe I should carry George. Daddy, can you carry me too? Oh, oh. all right, Peppa. Just be careful you don't slip over, Daddy Pig. <laughs> don't worry, Mammy Pig. Remember, I've got an excellent sense of balance. <laughs> Let's have a race. Yes. yes. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Here we are, the top of the big hill. Do be careful you don't slip, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm not going to slip. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Daddy is like a big toboggan! <laughs> we are going to win the race! Hooray! Peppa and George are the winners. Well done, Peppa! My Daddy makes a very good toboggan. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny, Daddy Pig. Hmm. I suppose it is quite funny. <laughs> Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Hello, Grandpa. Hello, Pepper and George. <laughs> George has found a ball. <laughs> ah! Careful, George. This is my greenhouse. It is made out of glass, which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Ah! People who live in glass houses should not throw footballs. You threw it first. It nearly smashed my greenhouse. Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish tip. I'll grow more than you do in your fancy glass box. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Grandpa, why is your greenhouse made of glass if glass breaks easily? Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... 
Nothing. Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little ones. Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. I don't think we want Grandad Dog's rusty old tomatoes. Uh. Cooey! Grandad Dog! Ah, oh, Granny Pig! Lovely to see you this fine morning. Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Peppa, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted, ever. Ah, how did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil, and I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes. Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings, you must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. First we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm. Mmm. Marvellous tomatoes. Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm. Beautiful basil. Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best tomato salad in the world ever! <laughs> <laughs> pirate treasure! Danny Dog is playing in his pirate den. <laughs> Here are Pepper and her friends. <laughs> Hello, Danny! Hello, everyone! <laughs> Do you want to play pirates? Yes! yes. Get dressed up, then. Danny Dog has a dressing-up box full of pirate clothes. Ah! My hearties. I've got a treasure chest. Ooh! It's a biscuit tin. It's a treasure chest. But it's still got biscuits in. <laughs> uh, who wants a biscuit? Me! 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 me, me. 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 Now it's a treasure chest. Let's find some treasure to put in it. Hurrah! Someone has to stay here to guard the pirate ship. Me! I will guard it. If you see someone coming, shout, Stop! Who goes there? Stop! Uh, who goes there? OK, let's go find some treasure! Danny Dog likes being a pirate. Hurrah! Everyone likes being a pirate. Hurrah! A jolly pirate's we that sail the deep blue sea to find a golden treasure for sale for you <laughs> Danny has found a pine cone. Treasure! <laughs> Pepper has found a shell. Treasure! <laughs> Susie has found an old bit of rope. Treasure! <laughs> Freddy has found a pebble. Treasure! I'll just have a little sleep. Pedro mm. always takes his glasses off before he sleeps. <sighs> Let's creep up on Pedro! Yes! Danny, Pepper, Susie and Freddy are creeping up on Pedro. Boo! Oh! Ah! You were asleep! 
Uh, yes. Sorry, you're lucky we're friendly pirates. <laughs> We've got treasure. That's nice. Let's put it in the treasure chest. Now we can bury it. Yes! And I'll stay here and guard the pirate ship. OK, Pirate Pedro, but don't fall asleep this time. I won't. Hurrah! <sighs> the pirates are off to bury the treasure chest over a hill, round the little bush. Let's bury it here. How will we know where we it. Let's make a treasure map. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. X marks the spot. Pedro has fallen asleep again. Oh! I'm awake! I'm awake! Pedro, don't you wear glasses? Uh, hello. Mummy Pony has come to collect Pedro. Who goes there? I'm your mummy, Pedro. Pedro cannot see very well without his glasses. Where are your glasses? Um, I don't know, mummy. When did you last have them? When we put the treasure into the treasure chest. What treasure chest? The one we buried in the garden. Pedro's glasses are buried in the garden. Oh, dear. How are we going to find them now? We've got a treasure map. Mummy Pony is using Peppa's map to find the buried treasure. Over the hill, round the little bush, and X marks the spot. They have found the treasure. My glasses! Hurrah! <laughs> Thank you! Treasure maps are very useful especially for finding your glasses if you accidentally bury them. <laughs> <laughs> the flying vet. Pepper has brought Goldie the fish to the vets for a checkup. You've got a healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr. Hamster. Hello. Hello, Dr. Hamster. This is Mr. Elephant. Mr. Elephant and his family are out for a walk in the mountains. We found a sick lizard. It's a gecko. Edmund knows all about lizards. He is a clever clogs. I'll be straight there. Ooh, can we come too? Of course. Let's go. Are we going in an ambulance? No, the mountains are too far away. We'll go in my aeroplane. Ooh! Aeroplane! Yeah. George loves aeroplanes. All aboard! <laughs> up, up and away! I didn't know you had an aeroplane, Dr Hamster. Oh, yes. I'm the flying vet. Thank goodness. The vet's here. Where is the sick lizard? Here it is. Oh, poor little pickle. What is wrong with the lizard? It seems to be upside down. I just flip it over. There. Dr Hamster has made the lizard better. Hooray! Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello. A Grandpa Pig here. Grandpa Pig is out sailing his boat. It's Polly. She's a sick parrot. Ah, uh, sick parrot. I'll be right there. Look, Polly, it's the flying vet. Where are we going to land? This is a seaplane, Pepper. We can land on the water. Hello, <laughs> Pepper, George. Hello, Grandpa. We've come to make Polly better. How long has Polly been sick? Since we came out on our boat trip. Aha! Uh -huh. I know what's wrong with Polly. She's seasick. Oh! Get Polly to dry land. The sooner the better. There's an island. 
There we go. Better, Polly? Ah, uh, better, Polly? Hooray! Hooray! Polly is not a sick parrot anymore. Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello? Daddy Pig here. Daddy Pig is in his office. There are some ducklings stuck on our roof. I'll be right there. Thank goodness you're here. Stand aside. Dr Hamster here. Mrs Duck laid her eggs on our roof. And now the ducklings have hatched. <laughs> Who can make a quacking noise? Me! I'm very good at quacking. Pepper, start quacking and the ducklings will follow you. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Lead them to the duck pond, please, Pepper. OK. I'm Mummy Duck. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. <laughs> the ducklings are back with their mummy and daddy. All because of me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Is it another emergency? Yes, it's Mr Hamster. I'm late for my tea. Bye! Bye-bye, Dr Hamster. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. It's all in a day's work for the flying vet. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit's boat yard. Pepper, George, and Granny Pig are going out for a day on Grandpa Pig's boat. Ahoy there, Pepper and George. We're ready to go sailing. I'll move the boat a bit nearer. Careful you don't hit that big stick, Grandpa. That's a mooring post. I won't hit it. <laughs> oh. Grandpa, there's a big hole in your boat. It's just a scratch. Ooh, Grandpa's boat is sinking. Quick, Grandpa Pig, jump off! A captain never leaves his sinking ship. Grandpa Pig's boat has sunk to the bottom of the river. It is Grandad Dog. <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig! Lovely day for a sail! Um, yes. Ahoy there! I'm taking my boat to the boatyard today. Going to get a few repairs done. Uh, would you mind taking my boat to the boatyard too, please? Of course. Where is your boat? Um, I'm standing on it. Oh, ho, ho. has it sunk? Uh, well, a little bit. I'm surprised your boat didn't sink a long time ago. What? It's a better boat than that rust bucket of yours. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are very best friends. Catch this, Captain! Aye, aye, Skipper! <laughs> Grandad Dog's truck has lifted Grandpa Pig's boat out of the water. Wow! Next stop, the boatyard! What's a boatyard? A boatyard, Pepper, is where broken boats get mended. This is Grampy Rabbit's boatyard. Ahoy there, me hearties! Ahoy there, Grampy Rabbit! Ooh, who did that to your boat, Grandpa Pig? Um, someone drove it into a mooring post. It went crash and made a big hole there. You should never let other people steer your boat, Grandpa Pig. Uh, yes. Can you mend it? Of course. I just need to size up the damage. Grampy Rabbit is measuring the hole in Grandpa Pig's boat. Now I need to find something to patch it up. It must be good to know how to mend a boat. Oh, it takes years to learn how to mend a boat. How long have you been mending boats? Years. Grampy Rabbit has collected lots of scrap metal to mend boats with. Now this is a gold mine. It's a pile of rubbish. Ah, uh, but you can make things from piles of rubbish. Like what? Like submarines. Wow. 
Grumpy Rabbit has made a submarine out of rubbish. Does it actually work? Watch this. It fills up with water, so it's very good at going down, but not so good at coming back up. Now this is what I've been looking for. It's a washing machine. It's the fix for Grandpa Pig's boat, is what it is. You're going to mend my boots with a bit of washing machine? Yes. That's as good as new. Hooray! Now we test it. Prepare for launch. Hi. Amazing! It floats. You sound surprised. Yes, usually they sink on the first go. Now we can go for our day on the river. What a splendid idea. This is the life out on a boat with just the sea and the sky. I know a song about the sea and the sky. Uh, do you want to hear it? No, no thank, thank you. you. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig's Pond. <laughs> Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig in his garden. <laughs> Today we are making a pond. Ooh. We start by digging a big hole. <laughs> Here is Mr Fox. Hello, Mr Fox. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you this morning? I don't need anything, thank you. Oh, where's Grandpa Pig? Does he want anything? I'm afraid Grandpa's busy digging a pond. Pond, you say? Why, I've got just the thing. It's a gnome <gasps> fishing. Lovely. Antique. One of a kind. I'll take it. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are hard at work digging. Ooh. Pepper has found a little cup. Oh, that looks like a very old teacup. George has found an enormous bone. Dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's treasure, Grandpa. How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure. How exciting. I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr Fox says it's an antique. Very rare. One of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Mmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? A coin. Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> My goodness, this bone is the best of the lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Can I just ask where you dug up such treasures? In Grandpa's garden. All digging must stop until an expert has been to investigate. Why? There may be other rare objects buried in the ground. <laughs> Granny, Granny, we're back. Hello, my little ones. Our treasures have to stay in the museum. And we can't dig here anymore until the expert digger comes. Where do you want me to dig, Mr Rabbit? Just about here, Mr Bull. <laughs> Mr 
Mr. Bull is an expert at digging. Find anything, Mr. Bull? No, same as usual. Just a load of broken pottery and smashed stuff. Oh, well, thank you for all your hard work anyway. No problem. I'm sorry we didn't find anything else. Not to worry. The good thing is you finished digging our pond for us. It's beautiful, Grandpa. A lovely natural pond. And to finish it off, a gnome. Do you like it, Mr Rabbit? I never thought I would see one in my lifetime. Oh, they're everywhere. This is an antique, one of a kind and very valuable. Then it belongs in the museum. So it does. Oh. Don't worry, you can see it at the museum any time you want. And you can get in half price, Granny, because you are old. <laughs> <laughs> The children's fate. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is checking the school roof. Moo! Who put this roof on for you? Uh, you did, Mr. Bull. Lovely job. It will last you a lifetime. But it is leaking water. Look, it is going drippity drip. You need a new roof. Oh, dear. Where are we going to get the money for a new school roof? We can do a school fate to get the money. Good idea, Danny. But who would run it? We can. Yes, the children can do it. <laughs> I can do the face painting. I can do the microphone. <laughs> we can have a mummy's and daddy's race. And I can sell balloons. Yes, we will have a children's fete. Hooray! It is the day of the children's fete. All the grown-ups are here. Hello, grown-ups! Danny Dog is in charge of the microphone. Get your money out for the new school roof! Emily Elephant is in charge of the bric-a-brac stall. Roll up! Roll up! All sorts of bits and bobs! What a lot of bric-a-brac, Emily! You will be busy all day selling it. Here is Mr Fox. Mmm, this all looks very interesting. Balloons! Lovely balloons! Would you like a balloon, Madame Gazelle? May I have a red one? How much is it? How much have you got? Oh, of course. We are raising money for the school roof. Look, Madame Gazelle, I've got rid of Everything. Wonderful, Emily. How much money have you raised? Money? Did you not get some money for the bits and bobs? I didn't need to. Mr Fox took it away for nothing. <laughs> Get your face painted here. Susie Sheep is in charge of the face painting stall. Hello, Susie. Can I be a mountain leopard, please? No. I can only do fruit. OK. Can I be... A plum! There. Pepper is in charge of the lucky dip. Roll up! Roll up! For your lucky dip! Moo! Hello, Pepper. Hello, Mr Bull. You've got a green face. I'm an apple. Ooh! Would you like to try the lucky dip? OK. What do I do? Just pull a prize out of the barrel. Everyone a winner. Mr Bull has won a dolly. Can I have a go? Mrs Cat has won a digger. Oh, do you want to swap? No, oh, thank, thank you. you. Mr Bull and Mrs Cat like their lucky dip prizes. <laughs> <laughs> roll up, roll up. Freddy Fox is in charge of the mummies and daddies race. Thank you. It's all to raise money for a new school roof. I'm quite good at running. <laughs> it's not running, Daddy. It's a sack race. Oh. You have to get in the bag and jump over there. <sniffs> as fast as you can. Right. On your marks, get set, go! Oh! And they've fallen down. Oh! Fun, wasn't it? 
Yes. Lots, Lots of, of fun. fun. But really, we must thank the children for all their hard work. Thank, thank you, children. children. And we have raised enough money to buy a new school roof. Again. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Naughty tortoise. It is a lovely autumn day. Pepper and her friends are playing in the leaves. Look, it's Tiddles the tortoise. Hello, Tiddles. What are you doing here? Tiddles. Tiddles. It is Dr Hamster, the vet. Here's Tiddles. Thank goodness you found him. Oh, naughty tartice. Back in your box. It's your bedtime. It's not bedtime yet. It's bedtime for Tiddles. He sleeps all through the winter and wakes up in spring. That sounds nice. You like sleeping, don't you, Pedro? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Tiddles? Tiddles has run away. <gasps> Look, he's up that tree. Oh, Tiddles, I don't know why you like climbing trees. <laughs> How are we going to rescue Tiddles? Chop the tree down. <laughs> no. I'll ring the fire brigade. Fire service? What's that? Tortoise up a tree? Again? We're on our way. Stand clear. Fire engines use ladders to rescue pets from trees. Come on, Tiddles. Tiddles is climbing higher in the tree. Come here, you little pickle. Mummy Cow is climbing into the tree. Be careful, Mummy Cow. Oh, dear. I'm stuck. Cows are not very good at climbing trees. Hang on. I'm coming up. Here, Tiddles. Oh! I'm stuck too. Elephants are not very good at climbing trees. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> what are we going to do now? Chop the tree down. No! no! I'll call the next rescue service. Hello! Granddad Dog's breakdown service. Hello? Tiddles the tortoise. He's up a tree. Tortoise up a tree? Again? I'll be right there. Hmm. <laughs> How do you get tortoises out of trees? Chop the tree down! Yes, let's chop the tree down. No! OK, I'll climb up instead. Hooray! <laughs> oh! I seem to be stuck. Dogs are not very good at climbing trees. Now can we chop the tree down? No. We'll have to call the highest rescue service in the land. OK, I'm on my way. It is Miss Rabbit in her rescue helicopter. Hello, everyone. Let's rescue this tortoise. Uh, who's flying your helicopter? Oops. Silly me. I'll just put the autopilot on. Autopilot on. Have a nice day. Autopilots fly helicopters on their own. Got you, you little rascal. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles. Hooray! Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for saving my Tiddles. No problem, Mom. Thank, Thank you, you for saving, saving us, us too. too. Just doing my job. Goodbye. Eh, uh, haven't you forgotten something? What? Oh, yes! My helicopter! <laughs> Goodbye, everyone! <laughs> Goodbye! What a naughty tortoise you are. <sighs> oh, good. You're sleepy now. Back in your box. Sleep well, Tiddles. Tiddles has gone to sleep for the winter. He will wake again in the springtime. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Grandpa Pig's train to the rescue. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George for a ride on his little train, Gertrude. I love Gertrude the train. And the good thing is, Gertrude has rubber wheels, so we don't have to go on train tracks. We can go wherever we like. <laughs> Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, choo choo choo, choo choo choo. Grandpa's little train goes choo choo choo, all day long. <laughs> 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 Miss Rabbit is taking the grown ups to work in her big train. Morning, Grandpa Pig. Out on your toy train again. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Oh, that's nice. Bye. Go faster, Grandpa Pig. I can't. This is as fast as Gertrude goes. The big train is going very fast. Oh, dear. The big train has broken down. What's happening? We need to get to work. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Having trouble with your train? <laughs> it's not funny, Grandpa Pig. All of my passengers need to get to work. You need to get yourself a train that doesn't break down, like Gertrude. <laughs> That's a good idea. Out you get. What? I'm borrowing your train. I'll change. But what am I going to do? You can stay here and mend the big train. Righto. I do like mending things. Oh, what fun. Riding a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy. She is a miniature locomotive. Of course. All aboard the toy train. Can't it go any faster? No. Gertrude is a slow train. Mrs Cow is waiting for the train at the next station. What's happened to the big train? Has it shrunk? No, this is a toy train. Gertrude is not a toy train. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. Grandpa Pig loves mending things. So many interesting bits and bobs. Oh, dear! A traffic jam! Gertrude can ride on the grass. Of course! Bye, everyone! Miss Rabbit is taking a shortcut. Past the duck pond. Hello, ducks! <laughs> up the hill. Come on, Gertrude! You can make it! And to the next station. Hello! <laughs> Where's the big train? The big train is broken. We're riding Grandpa Pig's toy train today. Gertrude is not a toy train. She, she is, is a, a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the end of the line. This goes here and that goes there. Grandpa Pig has mended the big train. Good as new. Last stop! Now you can all do your important work. Hang on. It's taken us so long to get here, it's home time. Oh, back we go then. But if we travel on Gertrude, it will take ages to get home. Hello, everyone. I've mended the big train. Excellent, Grandpa Pig. All change. Off we go. Stop! What about Gertrude? We can't leave her behind. Yes! Gertrude! Don't worry. We can take the toy train as well. Gertrude is not a toy. We know. She is a miniature locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude is the best train in the whole world. <laughs> camping holiday. Peppa's family are on holiday in their camper van. Good morning, my little piggies. Good, Good morning, morning, Daddy Pig. I love camping. Since we're in the countryside, I thought we could spend the day looking at nature. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Let's watch a nature programme. 
one of the wonders of nature, birds. How lovely. Shush, shush, little birdie. We can't hear our TV. Oh, Daddy Pig, there's no point being on a camping holiday and just watching TV. We can do that at home. Uh, good thinking, Mummy Pig. There are lots of fun places we can visit. There's Tree World. What's Tree World? Tree World is a big forest full of trees. It sounds a bit boring. Or there's Potato City. What's Potato City? There's a tour of the potato fields ending with a potato tasting. Sounds interesting. Or there's Duckland. What's Duckland? It's a wide river full of ducks. Duckland! Let's go to Duckland! <laughs> Peppa and George love ducks. How do we get to Duckland? The camper van can guide us. Hello. Where are we going today? Duckland, please. Follow the road ahead in a straight line. We're, We're going, going to, to Duckland duck in a camper van. Welcome to Duckland. <laughs> How many tickets, please? Two adults and two children. Enjoy the ducks! Where are the ducks? Maybe they're on holiday. Let's have our picnic lunch. <laughs> the ducks always turn up when... when we have picnics. <laughs> Peppa and George love picnics. <laughs> Look, it's the ducks. Stop, Daddy. We need bread for the ducks. <laughs> All right. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Here come more ducks. All their brothers and sisters are here. And here come more ducks. It's the Granny and Grandpa Ducks. And here are all the aunties and uncles. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the last of our picnic gone. Ducks, say thank you to Daddy Pig. Ho, oh, oh, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> I love Duckland. It is time to go home. I wonder what's the shortest way home. Drive straight ahead. Into the river. Oh, are you sure? Yes. Drive into the river. But we can't drive in the river. Yes. It's talking nonsense. Please press the blue button. The camper van is driving into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Our camper van has turned into a boat. I wasn't quite expecting that. Welcome to the car of the future. Look! It's Grandad Dog and Danny Dog. Ahoy there, Daddy Pig! <coughs> uh, ahoy there! Beep, beep! Sailing on the river in the camper <laughs> Drive up the next hill. You have reached your destination. We're, We're home. home. Thank you for a lovely holiday, Mrs. Campervan. Ho, ho, you're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice going on holiday, but it's nicer to be back in our own little house. Good night, my little piggies. Good night. Pepper is on holiday in Australia at Kylie Kangaroo's house. I love it here at your house, Kylie. Yes, I could stay here forever. It's great having you all stay, but I will have to go to work today. What is your job, Mrs Kangaroo? I'm a marine biologist. What's that? I study sea creatures, like these little fish here. Ooh, a fish tank! But the fish I study don't live in a tank, they live in the sea. Do the fishes in the sea have little bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? <laughs> no, Pepper. That's just the sort of stuff people put in fish tanks. 
Would you all like to come and see where I work? Yes, please. I've been to where my daddy works. There was a telephone, lots of paper and colouring pens. It was a very nice office. I think you'll find my office is pretty fun too. <laughs> <laughs> this is my office. Where? There, Pepper, the sea. I've got the best office in the world. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. Wow! wow. Do you want a ride? Yes, please. Okay, hop in. <laughs> <laughs> Wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral. Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh! And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish. They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> A little bridge, just like in your fish tank. Oh, <laughs> you're right, Pepper. It is quite like the fish tank here, except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins. Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. It will all go to a good cause. Yes, it'll pay for lots more marine research. Hooray! That was a good day at the office. We saw coral and fishes and a turtle. This is a great holiday. I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> but you are going to leave sometime, right? Oh, not that you aren't welcome to stay as long as you like, of course. Thank you, Mrs. Kangaroo. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs>